Hey guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the front rail system off this DE M904G. So I just want to make a, a note on safety, whether I'm uh, disassembling, unboxing, chronoing, whatever it is I'm doing, I may always make sure I'm in a completely safe environment. So that means most of my videos, um, I'm always wearing eye protection uh, just to make sure that my eyesight stays safe, stays safe. Before I do that, I always make sure that there's no ammunition in uh, any of the mags or in the gun itself. I make sure that the mags are unloaded and unwound to make sure that nothing can happen with that. Obviously, if I'm chronoing, then I've absolutely definitely got my eye protection on to protect myself. I even make sure that my batteries are removed and out of the way so that I know I'm in the safe environment. I also make sure that there's nobody else around as well either. So I'm always in a safest possible environment. If you are working with airsoft stuff, please make sure you do the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do like this video today, please do like and subscribe because you'll be really helping me out. So I've got a user requested video today. Uh, a few people have asked me for this. How do I remove this unit, ridge unit, off the front of this M904? So I spent a little bit of time. I uh, damaged the rail slightly as you can see there but we actually got this thing off and there it is I'm in uh, slightly unusual different uh, filming circumstances today uh, so bear with me a little bit so this is the system and it is literally just a screw with a bolt in the middle and as you turn the screw uh, I was turning it uh, left for lefty loosey it was pulling the screws in so one must be a reverse thread I believe and one must be a normal thread so if I start unscrewing that uh, you'll see it starts getting longer and all that happens is is that when it's inside of there and it's fully expanded it can pushes out against the back and against this plate in here now as soon as that was out and it took some fiddling. If I'd have got a little spanner, that would have been easier. Unfortunately, I had to use needle nose pliers, uh, which is what caused the damage a little bit. Um, but it's it's still solid, it's still working perfectly. Um, but once it was uh, retracted, I then come to get it off. It was a little bit stiff at first, but if you just give it a really good pull, it will just cleanly come sliding off, just like that. So, I hope that's been helpful if you want to, or when you were ready to put that back on. Obviously, the rest of this assembly, you've got um, a bolt in here, a bolt in here, and that'll release the gas block and a tube. And then you're probably going to have to get some sort of grips um, around this to get a hold of this. It has got points in there, so if you've got like an armourer's wrench or something, you should be able to get in there and undo that uh, barrel nut and remove it all. So when it goes back on, you just... A little bit stiff around there. I'm guessing that's down to the gas block. There we go. And then this sits back in now. They are identical. I don't believe, by the looks of it, it doesn't matter which way around it goes as long as the little pins. Oh no, it does. They are. If you look, one is at a slightly. There we go. You can see one slightly higher than the other. So the lower down one seems to want to fit down underneath like that so if it doesn't fit snug down when you put it in then you've done something wrong and then as you start again this would be so much easier if i actually had um a little spanner all the tools i've got and it's something spanners is not something i've ever particularly needed for airsoft so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start rolling that out a little bit and wait there we go just far enough that I can get it started put it in the wrong way and there we go now as I start undoing this it should start expanding back out famous last words So I'll come back in a second once I've expanded it and show you what it looks like. So I'm now nearly finished with it uh, and I'm just grabbing the nut and I'm turning it 
to the right in tiny little increments and you can see it's getting further and further out it is going to get to a point where it's fully tightened out and you just make sure that you get it that fully tightened out to make sure that it secures your res unit or your rail unit whatever you want to call it and it's not going to go anywhere so that now is tightened out for me I can't remove that so that's how you remove the rail unit on a double eagle or DE M904 variant. This one is the M904G. Hope that's been useful to you. I'll see you next time. Bye.